To a live news conference now, Lieutenant Paul Vance. He's on scene and begun their work. Um, honestly, the, the primary and first and foremost thing we've got to get done is the identification of all the deceased. We have, we have to do it legally by law and we don't do it properly. We have to do it legally by law and we don't do it properly. We have to do it legally by law and we don't do it properly. And in Oxford, police are preparing for the what if. We've seen the horrors of Columbine and Virginia Tech. And today, state police ran through what they would do if what happened there happened here. Fox 61's Jim Altman has more on the training troopers hope they'll never have to use. By air and on the ground. The subject is now barricaded with a revolver. There's no other hostage. First responders are taking aim at reality. Look up, look down, make sure no EIDs. The blood is fake, but the lesson is real at Oxford High School. More coming out. More coming out. Today, the state police staged an active shooter drill on a grand scale. In the back of your mind, you always have Columbine. This is an opportunity for the Connecticut State Police to take the training that we have and integrate it with other first responding agencies. In a real event, we would have these resources to deploy. From students and teachers to local police, everyone in town is playing a vital piece in the puzzle. He's heading out to east north. In the scenario, two armed men have stormed the building, injured students, and have hostages. Right. Joining room, all here. I'm out. We join the state police's highly trained TAC team as they search for the assailants. In 21st century policing, the first responders are trained now to react to the situation. To not only react, but to actively get involved in stopping the aggression. This is the largest exercise of its kind ever put on in the state over 150 police, EMS, and firefighters. It's about everybody coming together, working together, and making everything go well and make sure everybody that is involved in the incident is safe. Hostage has been recovered by Roger. And today, through this chaos, the goal is cohesion. It went almost flawless. There were a couple couple bumps in the road, and you expect that in any drill situation, but it's a learning experience. Five hostage has been recovered by EMS. Roger. And today, through this chaos, the goal is cohesion. It went almost flawless. There were a couple couple bumps in the road and you expect that in any drill situation, but it's a learning experience. I don't want to get into the details of it. Suffice it to say that the medical examiner has uh, been on the scene with all the proper uh, personnel and, and they'll do what, uh, what needs to be done. And again, primarily what we're looking at right now is the uh, positive ID so we can give some closure to people. This is an opportunity for the Connecticut State Police to take the training that we have and integrate it with other first responding agencies. Parents swarmed to Sandy Hook Elementary, facing the unimaginable prospect of trying to find their child. These are the survivors of a tragedy which could be America's worst ever school shooting. How could this happen in, in the middle of Connecticut in a beautiful little town? Uh, how, I guess the key question is why? Do we have an answer? promoted hope it's a sold-out show but I don't want any, anyone's expectations to be too high as to what my performance will be I'm here to promote it hope it's a sold-out show hope it's a sold-out show but I don't want any, any But I don't want any, anyone's expectations to be too high as to what my performance will be. 272, go, you're 15. 92, we're down the roof. 872, Y Yankee, E Echo, Oscar. 872, Y E O, possible suspect vehicle. Oh, no, no, no. no my manager has told me that I can't do that until the night of the performance, uh, which is tonight. Uh, which is tonight, but I don't want any, anyone's expectations to be too high as to what my performance will be. 272, go, you're 15. 
Thank you. Bring down the roof. Check that area. 872 Y Yankee Echo Oscar. 872 Y E O possible suspect vehicle. Two seven two, go you fifteen. Thank you. Bring down the roof. Eight seven two Y Yankee E Echo Alaska. Eight seven two Y E O possible suspect vehicle. Two seven one oh two Roger. Roger, yeah, Rosie. Run the uh, operator. He's a person in front of me, thank you as well. That's First name is Rodia, R O D I A. Christopher A. We, we don't have an answer yet. Uh, we've got a number, a number of major crime detectives, our forensic people. We have all our experts, all our expertise. We have our toolbox wide open, and, and we've got everyone involved. And it's not just us. We, we don't have an answer yet. Uh, 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 it's, it's been, we're being assisted by the Newtown Police, the local police, federal agencies are helping us. This is an opportunity for the Connecticut State Police to take the training that we have and integrate it with other first responding agencies. We've got to answer the those questions. We've got to determine how and why this happened. We've got to put this puzzle together and paint a crystal clear picture.